to treat diabetes and get your blood glucose levels back to normal, we need to make sure you have some insulin. The only way we can give you insulin is by injection. This is done with a device that looks a bit like a pen and a tiny needle which is about as thin as a hair. We will show you how to do this. We need to try to imitate what your body would do if it didn't have diabetes. To do this, you will need to have two different sorts of insulin. You will need an injection of long-acting insulin once or twice a day. This provides a background low level of insulin that is always there. You will also need an injection of very quick-acting insulin each time you have something to eat and sometimes at other times if your blood glucose level is too high. The aim of treating diabetes is to keep your blood glucose levels as near to normal as possible, that is between 4 and 7, to keep your body as healthy as possible. The only way you can know what your blood glucose levels are is by doing a finger prick blood test. You will be given your own blood glucose meter and finger pricker. It is really important that you check your blood glucose level at least 5 or 6 times a day. If you do not check your blood glucose levels, you will not know what your blood glucose reading is and you will not be able to give the right amount of insulin. The other sort of diabetes is called type 2 diabetes. This usually affects adults and most of them are overweight or obese. This type of diabetes very definitely runs in the family. In children and young people with type 2 diabetes, at least one, if not both parents, will have type 2 diabetes. This is not caused by lack of insulin, but it is caused by the insulin not working properly because of the extra weight. The thing about type 2 diabetes is that it may go away if you lose weight.